Damn it. I was dreading that moment. After Ottawale, it was the next thing I was dreading. And now it's over. Oh, shit. Hey! No! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. Oh, you no left him to such a horrible we fate! Make, we cannot show mercy. Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. This didn't seem to stop you before. When you when I was with Connor. Those guys he was interrogating, after he interrogated them, he killed all of them. And Connor was like, why would you do that? You could have held them until the fight was done. And he was like, waste precious time and money on their care? And he's like, fuck that. Alright, I guess age made you bitter. <sighs> non nobis, domine, non nobis. <sighs> I liked that one, though. That was really good. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Moving on. Oh! Oh, God! That was it! Never forget what has happened here. I won't. Oh, God! But the world will. Hey, the... Why didn't I see that coming? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him. Oh. Achilles has lost everything. He Including his kneecap. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order. And for me. Could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. Oh boy. <sighs> I must be close to the end of the game. Brotherhood That's broken. Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of thing? Yeah, who knew? Bitch. Ooh. Everything I need to complete our assignment here. Fuck! One last job, Mamskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. <laughs> Stop but calling me that. Is, I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. Shut up! Very specific people? What does that mean? Abstergo Industries. I'm going to the basement! Hi, Far Cry. And again, there's way too many Far Cry magazines in this office, I just want to say. All right, enough stalling. Let's go down into the basement. I had to take a little bit of a break because my dog was barking, uh, because I had a visitor. But now I am all alone again. It's not going to be good down there. It's just not. You for your services to me. I am granting you level three security access. Yay! Point on. No doors will be closed to you. Yay! Now I can do that presentation and again episode or two or three. Hi. Yeah, about that. Shit. What's going on now? A minor setback. Okay. Your communicator doesn't work right now, and it must be dark as hell down there. Yeah. But I can show you the way. There! Just follow those lights and you'll be set. Okay. If anything scary happens down here, I'm Trump. never playing all a Templar lights, again. The bright lights. Okay. That's the comforting. Thanks. <laughs> Follow the bright lights, I promise you won't die. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. Oh, well, you just jinx it. I don't trust you anymore. Fuck you. What is this? Uh, I wanna do it. I wanna do it. I wanna do it. So I'm doing it. Tablet document 17. Nikolai! I like this take a lot. A psychotic Russian terrorist meddles in the affairs of a once proud. Fuck you! Now, for the first time in history, learn the truth about Russia's swift and brutal descent in, into anarchy and chaos at the genesis of the 20th century. 
I'm not sure about White Death as a name, though. Radical Reds? The Fall? Haha, <laughs> I suck at naming. <laughs> not as much as you think. But I think we need to sit down and hammer out a final title. Coffee Sue? Melanie. <laughs> the Fall slash the Chain. A psychotic Russian terrorist? You guys are assholes. Okay. I will go very slowly now that you called me that. Just to spite you, I will tiptoe down this creepily dark hallway. Your communicator should work now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The Assassin Brotherhood still exists today. And they remain dedicated to their foolish cause. Forget who's listening to you, pal! I am a Templar Knight. I protect the world from the Assassin. That's nice to know. You know, something I already knew, but still. You wanna know how I got these scars? Being a Templar Knight, that's how you got those scars. Someone's gonna show up. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the servant. I don't trust you in the slightest. What do I do here? Wait. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to my thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to go this way. Oh. I haven't been over here yet. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this. This is creepy, and I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. I want everyone to know just how not liking this I am. Okay. Here we go again. Um, how do I... There we go. Ah, fuck you. Okay, and then select this one. Yes. There we go. All right, I'm starting to figure my way around these now. All right, what are we gonna learn about this time? Haytham, perhaps, or Otso Bird? Oh no! The big star of the Anime Training Program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick! You're insulting you the wrong man. Master Cross. Daniel Cross. Oh my God! I believe that my training will soon be complete. That didn't last very long. <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh. Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. Uh. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully... No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over. But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. It's a very I creepy way of looking at it. Servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done here. Wow. And in the glorious new world order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! Oh, See, he's... I mean, besides Shay now, I guess. He's really the only Templar I've ever truly felt bad for. I mean, hate them as well because of Forsaken. But, like, yeah. There's only a very select few exceptions to, uh, liking Templars for me. Okay. I know it's coming next! <laughs> For one thing, Juno. How could it not? And secondly, Versailles. And I don't want it at all! I don't, I don't, I don't. It's time to show the Brotherhood how weak they truly are. Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? What are you gonna make me do? Ah, oh, fuck. Please but don't. It's not enough for them to die. This is all my footage. Happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. 
That was instead thanks to your damned manuscript! Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Why'd you have to show me that again? My plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. Whoa, However, whoa, whoa, whoa. Story is not not her work. I would not Sean, take a look at this. To the end. Hide. Great purge. Great purge all over again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what did I just do? Make me do! I know what the Great Purge was! You just made me do it again! Why would you Oh god, no, please, don't say something just happened. What just happened? Did I just do something? I hope I just didn't do what I think I just did. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, bollocks. I can't even- I- guys, I'm shocked. Please tell me I am thinking in the complete wrong thing. Like, please tell me I am in every single possible way wrong. Please tell me. Cause I- I went the wrong way. There's still one last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. Yeah. Bit of a trip, but I think she's seen I it. I know what it is. I know what it is, and I don't want to do it. Why does this- I hate this! I love this, but I hate this. Oh my- I am really close to the end right now. Hello, sir. Pardon you. There's my animus. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. It's already not. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. What does that mean? Well, no. I'll be able to come back here after the story, right? I'll be able to leave my animus any time, right? I hope so. Sending a message. I think I did what I just did. I think I did what I think I just did. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay, fuck me. Royal Palace, <laughs> Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numbskull. Fuck you! Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. I'm not here for royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the king's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yeah, I figured. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. <laughs> they really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles. No! That damned box. He had the box. He had the box. How did I not piece it together before? I can't do- no, I can't do this. I can't do this. Just give me a second to collect myself, everyone. I can't do this. Why does the music have to be so calming and pretty? It's kinda- I was thinking this while Franklin was talking. Seeing Versailles in last gen and then in next gen, it almost looks like two completely different places. They're both beautiful, but I mean next gen obviously much more so. It feels strange. Okay, so I have to remain undetected. Meaning evil a vision. Alright, let's just be careful here. It's just that oh uh, fuck Charles Story. No <laughs> Why? 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 Okay, so am I supposed to... He closed the door. Yeah, he closed the door. So 
I have to climb to get to him. Fuck me. <sighs> Why am I still doing this? Why have I not just like shut off the Xbox at this point? Oh, he can make that jump. Shoot, I wasn't expecting him to be able to. Good on you, Shay. Shay, can you really not go any higher than that? You just jumped over a gigantic balcony and you can't get up this? Uh. Is this? No, I don't think so. I was gonna say if this is- this, no, it's not. The same window that Arno hopped through. I don't think that was- that wasn't at Versailles though, so never mind. I'm- I'm wrong. I'm incorrect. Locate the secret mini game. Oh yeah, sure, put up your collar, that'll help. That'll make all of the difference! So I take it, killing them would probably be a bad idea. MOVE, WOMAN! Oh fuck. Why am I doing this? Why am I still doing this? Why am I still doing this? I know, game. Ooh, hello. I remember while I was seeing Charles Dorian's still warm corpse on the ground when I was Arno as a little boy and I was thinking, well that's interesting. Ubisoft skipped an opportunity to watch me, to have me watch my father die. How interesting! Not the case. I'm still very much going to see it. Wait. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to go out the window. It will allow me. Pardon me, sir. Okay, where do I go now? Down. I'll go down. Right, he's on the bottom floor, like the main hallway thingy, majiggy. Was that at Versailles? I don't think it was. Please, down in the comments. I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Whoa. My brain is exploding. What should we do now? Hi kids. I'm just here to murder your father. Look at them. Look at them all last gen looking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'll see you kids. Goodbye. That was weird. <gasps> Mind explosivo. Hi, sir. How are you? Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm doing this. Why am I gonna do this to a poor child? You don't know what you're unleashing, Shay. The poor kid is gonna blame himself! I can't do this. I can't do this. I absolutely cannot do this. I can't do this. Move! Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Yeah, you will. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're still gonna make me be in control? Can't you make this a cutscene? Oh, no. Where have you gone? Get the fuck out of the way! Get the fuck out of the way! My son, Arno? Perhaps you have seen him? Oh, fuck. Move, you bitch! Have you seen a little boy around? I'm looking for my son. No! No! You're the traitor! Just finishing old business. Oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution oh. undid your Templar business. Holy shit! But perhaps we should start a revolution. My heart's beating so fast. Oh god. I left him to die so slowly. I can't do this. 
principles of our order. And all that for which we all stand, right. never share our secrets, all right. nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shay Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, <laughs> of the American right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another and one is about to begin. Is about to begin. May the father of understanding. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. My legs are shaking. My heart is beating. My hands are shaking. I don't know if the camera's picking up that quivering. I can't breathe. Holy shit. Okay. Just give me a second, everyone, to calm the fuck down. That took me every ounce of my being and my allegiance to complete this game. There was so much tearing and so much confliction. It was ridiculous. Whoa. Just whoa. 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 Hold on. Just... Oh, shit. Oh, my fucking... It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shea Cormac's memories has served us well. What did you make me do? Shea's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. Well, this is all news to me. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. For what you, you see it now. to be. You got big plans ah, for you. Fuck. The father of understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. Oh! Wait, and what are you doing over there? With a choice. A choice? Wait, what the fuck do you mean? Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Uh uh! I'm not. I'm. Oh, um. refuse. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, so I don't have a choice. They were like, we're giving you a choice, but in reality, we're not. <laughs> Wave a gun in my face. Holy shit. Okay, I just took the time to calm down. And now I need to do it again. First thing I want to say is I fucking love the theme song. It's AC2 and 3 mixed together, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It might be my new favorite theme in all the games. Holy fucking shit! I can't even- I can't believe I beat it. I still have a couple more sequences to go in Unity, but this was my plan all along, to finish Rogue before I finished Unity. I will say, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this game. I really wasn't. It- it was- it was- on the same engine as Black Flag, it had the same basic mechanics as Black Flag. There's some new stuff, obviously. But still, it was basically Black Flag, only shorter, and with new locations and a new character, and the opposite side of the conflict. You know, I was expecting more from Unity. And Unity had, like, 90% of my excitement, in all honesty. But now, I am blown away how much I enjoyed this. I mean, enjoyed it, but didn't enjoy it. You know! Ottawale is one of my favorite characters in this entire franchise, and not only have we actually seen him die, I'm the one that did it! And that wasn't cool. That was not cool at all. I did not enjoy that. I did not enjoy that at all. That was just not fun. That was not cool, it was sad, and I, I cried. I did. There were quite- there were tears. Chevalier's death... 
Didn't like the way Shay handled that either. I mean, I didn't like that dude either, but seriously. Like, come on. All the other ones, he was like, I'm sorry, forgive me, I didn't want to do this. And with him, he's just like, fuck you! <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't nice. But I liked the present day as well. I'm definitely going to be going back there if it allows me to. And, um, god damn it. There are so many things I want to say. I love this music too. I'm getting the soundtrack for this game, I don't have it yet. And I'm absolutely getting it. This is one of my favorite songs. It just hits me. Every time I think about this game, it just, it hits me. Right here. And it's terrible. About Shay. I know I'm an assassin supporter, but I did really like Shay. I mean, I get where he's coming from. His heart was absolutely in the right place. Absolutely, 100% in the right place. I talked about this before we went and uh, went to kill Chevalier, but, um, Louis-Joseph Gautier, Chevalier de la Verandrie, or something, bleh. We were just getting into the battle, and I was talking about, um, how the Colonial Brotherhood has their priorities real mixed up. Because they were messing with these artifacts that they weren't even 100% positive what they did or what their benefit was, and they were messing with them anyway, and they were getting a whole lot of innocent people killed. Which is the first tenet of their freaking creed. So that really pissed me off. They, they lost their way a lot. And I said that if Altair were around at this point in time, and he was the exact same guy, you know, he was just alive, and they, he saw what the colonial assassins were doing, he would probably have them executed for compromising the order. The assassin order. He probably would. I honestly think he would have. That's one of the things I absolutely love about this series, is that you start off, you know, you kind of like, you have to not like the Templars, and you kind of have to root for the assassins. Because, you know, you're playing a character that's on the assassin side, so obviously you're rooting for them. And so, you know, the Templars are just kind of like, you know, bad guys. And they're portrayed as bad guys at first. You kind of have to listen to what they're saying to sort of get the gray in the very first game. But it's just getting more and more, more and more gray, less white and less black. It really gets you thinking about the morality of the human race and just all that, you know, profound, moral, philosophical type stuff. And I love that sort of stuff. But um, music, I think one of the best soundtracks in the whole series, in all honesty. I love the theme, and there are so many tracks I can already hear from in the game that I'm absolutely going to be listening to over and over and over again. It's going to be going into some of my playlists, and it's going to be going on my phone, and Oh, man. And one other thing, I love how they are starting to incorporate characters that weren't in games before. They're starting to put them into the games. For example, Otzoberg. For performance talent. Wait, is this US? Shay's voice was Steven something. And that was... He did great. He did absolutely great. He did fantastic. I need to look up your name and memorize it, because I know all of the other voice actors names i just don't know shays yeah it's just i like how they're starting to add more of the more obscure lore that doesn't exist in games and they're starting to slowly bring it in and introduce the people who only play the games to this vast universe of creativity and lore and it's it's just brilliant and i love it i love it to death the graphics i realize it's on the same engine as black flag but i feel like it felt less refined, in all honesty. Like, the controls felt clunkier, even though they were exactly the same. And there were some times, like, especially during, like, the cutscenes, when there was, like, really close-ups on people's faces, it didn't look real, um, cleaned up, I guess? Like, there were times, like, when it was really close, and the face almost looked like it was wobbling, almost like it was underwater type of thing. Like, if you notice that, too, you know what I'm talking about. But, like, I don't remember that happening in Black Flag. Like, I don't know. It felt like they worked their way through this one a bit faster than with Black Flag. Still a gorgeous game, though. And there is still an immense amount of detail that goes into this. Like, with the ox. I mean, they didn't need to put those in there. But they did. Shay kind of had me bouncing back and forth. Like, oh my god, you're a jerk. And okay, well, I understand, you know. And he feels very human, which is great. I love characters that are not entirely in the right or not entirely in the wrong. There's things to like and dislike about them. Like, hate them. I really like Haytham, but I hate what he did to Achilles. 
I felt like Ubisoft might have done this on purpose so more people would actually complete this game through and not just quit and be like, fuck this. Yeah, it's something like, there wasn't a whole lot of connection with the new characters just because you didn't have a whole lot of time to get to know them before you switch sides. And it made this game a little bit easier to get through, but like, Adewale and Haytham shooting Achilles in the, in the knee and Charles Dorian, it's... <laughs> that was easily the most difficult parts in this whole game. And that one ship fight <laughs> was the most difficult part. I am very pleasantly surprised by this game and I loved it. I do wish it was longer. Ever since Haytham, I was like, you know what? It'd be really interesting to view an entire game from a Templar's point of view. Of course, this was a little different because what I said before, the Colonial Assassins didn't exactly have full control over their own order. You know, stay your blade from the flesh of an innocent, and here they are bringing whole... bringing whole cities down to rubble. But I mean, just thinking about Achilles... And how... Uh, I was like, well obviously, you know, obviously Haytham was gonna spare his life, he wasn't gonna kill him. Obviously, because he grows to be a very old man. But, um... I don't know, just leaving him to that fate. Just leaving him to that fate. Shot him in the knee, left him out there in the far north. How the heck did he get back? I killed probably more, like, a lot of his crew on the way in there, and then Liam died. He doesn't have anyone else. It's not like he's got a cell phone with reception out there and be like, Hey, uh, my ride is kind of, like, not equipped properly anymore, and... <laughs> I got a busted knee, can you come pick me up? So he must make it back to the homestead. Wounded, weak, tired, cold, alone. His brotherhood in disrepair. And then he just lets the homestead, the ex-headquarters of the Assassin Brotherhood, rot away around him. And he just grows old, alone, angry and bitter, until Connor comes along and gives him a purpose again. This, this game's so deep. <laughs> this game's so deep. But I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I will say, though, I think... Black Flag still holds my favorite ending. Obviously, this is not my favorite ending. You just keep repeating the same songs over and over again. Oh, we, we must be getting close to the end now because now they're doing all the legal notices. Really, that's all I gotta say, guys. The music was beautiful. Graphics could have been polished a little better, but the game was still gorgeous. Story was great. Could have been a little bit more backstory for the new characters. Uh, I really like Shay. I understand Shay. His heart was in the right place. I understand where he's coming from. Colonial Assassins were definitely, they needed, they needed a big reality check, and Shay gave them that for sure. Um, yeah, it was, it was an emotional roller coaster. There were moments when I laughed, moments when I cried, moments when I gasped. Templar then, Templar now. Yeah, about that. All right, I think that's it, everyone. We might be going back to present day, and I might be able to just kind of wander around freely. Nope, I'm back in New York. With those horribly textured buildings again. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you go. That's another thing. I noticed there were a lot of texture pop-ins. Even in the cutscenes, too. There was a bit of that. That's it. We have successfully completed the story of Assassin's Creed Rogue. And it was so much better than what I was expecting. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. But it was an emotional roller coaster, and I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. I'll be doing more rogue shenanigans since I can entirely focus on that now, and be continuing Unity and Unity shenanigans. Um, oh my God, I just I am in shock. I have a whole new respect for the Templars now. I like to think I'm impartial, even though I do vote for the Assassins, but I mean. I'm, I'm like, I'm an impartial that slightly leans one direction. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I will see you guys in my Unity Let's Play. I really don't want to say it. I always don't want to say it at the, end of an, <laughs> at the end of an Assassin's Creed game. But we'll be back. We'll be back in Rogue for shenanigans. So the story may be over, but the, the adventure, the complete adventure is far from that. Farewell, friends.